Uh, he's gonna go in the funk pop shelf next to Eren. Uh, that's his rightful place. Uh, I'm intending on getting more um, funk pops, Attack on Titan ones, and definitely uh, Demon Slayer ones. So, um, if anyone would like to surprise me with funk pop or you know send one to me, uh, there's gonna be a wish link, a wish list link, a link to a wish list in the description down below. Uh, I'm not asking for anything. Uh, this is only if you guys want to surprise me, and uh, you know, it's available. But then again, I'm not asking for anything. Uh, yes, I've already a little collection and I'm intending on bettering it. So if you want to participate, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's going to be really, really uh, appreciated. Today, uh, the boar bears its fangs, Zenitsu sleeps. Uh, first part of the title yes Zenitsu sleeps I don't know what it's gonna mean I uh, really enjoyed Zenitsu last time it's been a couple of weeks uh, for me so but it's still quite fresh in my mind um, really enjoyed the guy he's on the verge of being you know this annoying character that is just really annoying but to me right now he's in the annoying funny enjoyable uh, range uh, which is nice um, the boar. I'm not exactly sure if I should reference to the boar as it him so far. We're going to definitely figure out, or at least I hope in this episode, uh, what the boar-headed person is. Uh, and the Suzumi demon. I mean, it was really clever, the um, changing mansion. Uh, so yes, let's jump into the reaction. Flag Function is available on Patreon, link down below in the description box. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. This is, always very, this is always very much appreciated. Let's jump to the reaction. It's a really satisfying noise. Sound. <laughs> like, uh, I like how Tanjiro is not even surprised by the fact that it's a boar head. <laughs> a little on the, on the cuckoo side. こんな小さい子を踏むなんてどういうつもりだ Okay, better avoid the sound waves. What? 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 Oh. Oh. Is it the kid who stole the, uh, one of the Suzumi and is using it to protect himself from the demon? You know, changing things so the demon can't get to him? <laughs> Scared him. Mm. 
Yeah, but you're the one screaming here. <laughs> Zenitsu, you're the one making a lot of noise. Yeah, that's not even the big one. But I mean, it's a freaky looking demon. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be chased like that. Hey. It has disgusting saliva and bacteria. <laughs> Yeah, good mentality. <laughs> Before he reaches double digits. That's what we all think when we need to protect a kid. He's not even double digits. Oh, did he faint? Oh, he definitely fainted. Zenitsu sleeps. It's like a huge fly. Oh, is Zenitsu secretly a badass in his sleep? What? What? Thunder! Okay, so his element is thunder. Look! What? All of a sudden, what happened? <laughs> you did this. Oh, okay. Okay, so is this like sleep personality, like a, a badass sleepwalker? I wasn't expecting that. Making me enjoy Zenitsu even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel uh, I understand it would be quite painful, you know, being stuck in here if you're being. <laughs> How many demons are there? Self style. And the head. I mean, this ball guy is mighty confident. <laughs> On the verge of arrogance. What's Marichi? Oh yeah, that's the older brother. I'd forgotten about him. Yeah, okay, that's the eldest. Good, yeah. 
I love Tanjiro's uh, ability to always be cheerful and positive in the most serious situations. <laughs> Thank you. How did you get here? How did you get here? Stupid. Okay. Let me know in the comment section, is Marechi blood a real Japanese thing or, or is it just for the sake of the show? Yeah, but how are you gonna get them back? Okay. Okay. Oh. There he is. That was cool. Oh yeah, that's what I, yeah. And then the middle one. Got it. That's cool. That's, that's a nice sequence. <laughs> Is uh, Nezuko gonna come to the rescue yet again? Yeah, he's got a broken... Uh, broken rib, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not the moment to flinch last minute. Can Tanjiro change forms? Like... <laughs> the resolve. I mean... Almost every other episode we get Tanjiro at his lowest and he's like, I'm gonna do it! Okay. So next episode is gonna be the fight. Huh? <laughs> 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 okay, funny. Okay, so here we got an interesting episode because no Nezuko. I believe this is the very first episode where there's no Nezuko at all. Uh, no action of Nezuko, not even hearing a voice or having a flashback or I don't know. Uh, really interesting, Zenitsu. Zenitsu sleeps. So I understand because at first when he fell asleep, uh, I wondered how is it so important that it makes it to the title of the episode now I get it and that makes it just so much uh, more interesting uh, I already liked the character but if, he, if there's this other layer to the character I think it's very clever from the uh, creators because it makes him so much more interesting. Uh, could explain how he uh, passed the final test because when we first saw him, we wondered, well, maybe he survived it because he remained hidden for the whole trial. But no, maybe he just fell asleep at some point and just started to slay demons left and right. And that's just amazing because he doesn't even know 
uh, which means that he that happened before. Uh, his teacher, his master, didn't even tell him this. Nobody ever told him. I don't know. Um, really interesting to know. Really interested in knowing what his whole backstory is with his family, where he's coming from. Uh, we learned a little bit about the deaths and everything, but nobody told him before. Has he always been like this? Is uh, and he fell asleep. Did he fell asleep? At first, I thought that he fainted because it was just too much pressure for him. Maybe that's why he fell asleep. I don't know. Maybe it's like a coping mechanism. You know, uh, when the pressure is definitely too great, when there's an imminent danger. Zinitsu is just going to fall asleep and his other persona is going to, you know, take over, take, take over and be this badass that we just saw. The boar is very interesting as well. I don't understand really where uh, the boar lies. It's like it's uh, just enjoying fighting demons and slaying things. and Because it even came after Tanjiro and the, the girl. So the question is, uh, maybe they don't have a side. I was about to say what side are they on, but maybe they don't have a side. The only side they have on is theirs. Um, yeah, sometimes I refer to the boy as him, it, or they. I don't know. Uh, but yes, um, definitely a, a little cuckoo, if you see what I mean. Uh, enjoyable. Uh, it's just going head on, attacking head on, no fear, just like a ball. Uh, the uh, the twist, the plot twist with the Suzumi demon was really nice. Uh, on his eye, it was uh, indicated lower six, so I don't exactly, I'm not exactly sure what that. What the exact lowest six means, but definitely the number that he had in his eyes uh, was, you know, like crossed uh, by Kibutsu Shimusan. I'm still wondering what makes Kibutsu Shimusan so powerful. How come he is the most powerful? powerful one of all demons what what granted him that much power when we see demons like this one you know when they look like that and when they have so much rage and everything what makes kibutsu jimazan so i mean the guy is formidable but why is he the one to be so formidable i'm still wondering about this when we have this a variety of demons and so yes I reckon we've only seen just an inkling of Kibutsu Shimazan's uh, power is there is there a Funko Pop of Kibutsu Shimazan? I need to put it in, in the wish list maybe um, yes really interesting really interesting episode um, Tanjiro is resolved uh, I'm definitely talking about Tanjiro's resolve every other episode, but I feel like it's just because every other episode there's a situation where Tanjiro is at his lowest and he's like... Suzume, you know? So, uh, I suppose I'm going to be saying it a lot. Uh, it's nice, it's nice. Uh, I remember when I first started the show... Uh, the over-explanation thing was uh, a little bit too much, you know. But here, since it's been a couple of weeks since I first watched the episode, it's kind of nice because I'd forgotten about ribs and everything. Um, I find it useful when there's uh, explanation regarding Tanjiro's strategy or... Um, regarding things that are happening right now explaining, ex explaining things that are happening right now not so much when it has to do with um, a character's personality you know in the very first episodes um, 
what was his name? Guyo, Guyo Hugo, Guyo. I don't know the Demon Slayer that Danjiro met. Um, was a little bit misplaced because it had to do with the fact that the character would say that I understand what he feels and we didn't exactly need to know this stuff so it was a little bit over for me but when Tanjiro you know analyzes what he's feeling at this moment what he intends on doing but what he can't do uh, because he's feeling that way it's useful and I quite uh, enjoy that as, uh, and I think it's appropriately done as a as a as a, a writer myself so yes um thank you very much guys i'm gonna be seeing you for the next episode which is uh, something more important than life um i don't know what that could be um then again thank you very much for uh, the support that you're bringing to this uh, new reaction series of anime i'm really enjoying demon slayer um so far i'm definitely happy that i uh, that you voted and then that I decided uh, to go with this reaction anime. Uh, the full length reaction to the whole series uh, is available on Patreon. Link down below uh, in the description box. Maybe it's a little bit forwards, maybe one episode forwards. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I think so. Um, but yes, thank you very much. I'm going to be seeing you soon. Until then, please take care. Have a nice life. See you soon. Bye.